Hello and welcome back to Technical Studies. In today's video, we're going to understand a very important concept in fabrication and welding, the minimum distance between welds. Whether you are working with pipes, pressure vessels, or storage tanks, maintaining the correct spacing between welds is crucial. It ensures structural integrity, helps with proper inspection, and reduces the chances of weld failure. Let's start with piping systems. According to ASME B31.3, which is the standard for process piping, there is a basic rule for how close to but welds can be. The minimum distance between two adjacent but welds in a pipe should be at least equal to the pipe's outside diameter or not less than 1.5 inches, whichever is greater. For example, if you are working with a 4-inch pipe, the minimum weld spacing should be 4 inches. But if the pipe is smaller than 1.5 inches in diameter, you still have to maintain that 1.5-inch gap. This distance is measured from toe-to-toe -to -toe of the welds, and it helps avoid overlapping of the heat-affected zones. If heat zones overlap, the metal can become brittle or weak in that area. In some special cases, if full radiographic testing or ultrasonic testing is performed and there are no defects, the welds may be placed slightly closer, but this needs approval from the engineer or inspector. Now let's talk about pressure vessels. Pressure vessels follow the ASME Section 8 Division 1 code. Here, the spacing between welds is a little stricter because vessels often operate under high pressure. The minimum spacing between a longitudinal seam and a circumferential seam should be five times the vessel wall thickness or two inches, whichever is greater. So, if your vessel has a wall thickness of 10 millimeters, the weld spacing should be at least 50 millimeters or two inches. This ensures that the heat affected zones do not weaken the joint where two welds meet. Again, this spacing is measured edge to edge, not center to center. This rule is important for the long term safety and performance of the vessel. Finally, let's look at storage tanks. When it comes to storage tanks, we follow API 650, which is the standard for welded tanks for oil and other products. In tank fabrication, vertical welds, also called longitudinal welds, in adjacent shell courses must be staggered. The required stagger is 5 times the plate thickness or 12 inches, whichever is more. This means, if your tank shell plate is 10 mm thick, the vertical weld in the next course should be at least 50 mm or 12 inches away, whichever is greater. This stagger prevents a weak line forming up the height of the tank. Circumferential welds, on the other hand, don't have a strict minimum spacing, but they must be placed in a way that allows for proper alignment and inspection. In summary, for piping, keep the weld spacing equal to the pipe's outer diameter, or at least 1.5 inches. For pressure vessels, maintain a gap of 5 times the wall thickness or 2 inches. For tanks, stagger vertical welds by 5 times the thickness or 12 inches. Always follow the specific project specifications and consult the code or your welding engineer if in doubt. Thank you for watching.